God puts a value on us that the world doesn't understand. We can't play by the world's rules when it comes to your value. We have to go to the absolutes of God's word. Truth again. So what is the truth? We go to 3 John 2. Listen to this. God talking to you. And he said, beloved, beloved, I wish above all things. You know, for me, if I were to even just stop right there, listening to God talk to me. You got God the Father looking at you in the eyes and just saying, my beloved, oh, I wish above all things. Man, that right there is winning, yeah. right? And then God takes it up another level and he says, beloved, I wish that you would prosper, be in good health, even as your soul prospers. God, it's not enough for you just to prosper financially. It's not enough for you just to prosper with stuff. God wants you to be healthy. God wants to prosper you in your mind, your will, and emotions. God doesn't want you laying in bed, suffering with worry, fretting, care, and fear. God wants to prosper you in every area of your life. God doesn't just dearly love you for who you think you are. God loves you for absolutely who you really are. You see, that's why it's such an affront for you and I to look in the mirror and talk trash to what God has made. That's why it's so arrogant to think that the vessel would look in the mirror and talk about what God has made, what God has designed from the very DNA out, from the very laminin of your cellular structure, that God would look at you and say, I'm a genius. Look how good I am at making this beautiful daughter. And for us to turn around and say, no, no, well, you know, there's limits to what I can do. There's limits to where I can go. There's, you know, I, I can only... We have to believe God wholesale for everything he has for us. When you think of a printer, the analogy of a printer, we've all worked on computers. You've got the computer and the printer. If you've got a document on your computer and it's got an error in it, then you print it out. Well, then you go to the piece of paper. You, you know, you're thinking, oh, well, I need to wipe that out and fix that up and do this here. You fix the document. You come back to your printer and you press print again. And this is how we live life. We keep printing the same stupid document with the same errors on it, thinking if we fix the piece of paper that somehow now we've made everything right. We hit print and then we're again going, I don't understand. How come I keep failing? If I'm really born to win, how come I keep making this mistake? How come I keep looking like a fool in front of everybody? Because the thing is, Jesus said this, a good tree produces good fruit. A wrong tree, a bad tree, a broken tree, a hurt tree will produce bad fruit. We've got to change this thing at the roots. You see, the truth is the thing that will set you free. That's what John 8, 32 says. How many times do people misquote that? They're like, well, you know, the truth will set you free. The truth never set anybody free, just dormantly sitting there. You've got to know the truth, and the truth will set you free. See, that's what my spiritual mentor was saying to me. He's saying, Stephen, you've got no excuses. Your problem is you don't know the truth. If you knew the truth, you would advance. You would move forward. The reason you keep going one step forward and eight steps back is because you don't know something. You're missing something. You're missing a link. If you were to know it, then you would advance in it. I am so hungry for God's truth. I want to know everything in the will that God has willed to me. Don't you? Yes. I Aren't do. you hungry for that?